Hi, my name is Emeka, Emeka Madewesi. I would like to introduce to you some of the books that I have read in the past two years. Um, maybe from my library, we know those books that uh, dictate my opinion in life, my, the way I uh, look at issues. Um, the first one here, certainly not the first that I read in the past two years, it's um, Half of the Yellow Sun by Shimamanda Adishia. Um, the next one here is um, Oneido the Blacksmith's Daughter by Ngozi Ashebe. Then there is another one, I Do Not Come to You by Chance by Adobe Trisha Mwabwani. I Do Not Come to You by Chance. This is a book about 419. And you have The Thing Around Your Neck by Shi Mamada Ngozi Adishia. Then you have, of course, have Purple Hibiscus by the same author. Shimaman Dangozi Adishia. This one made it to Oprah's best reading list. Say You Are Not One of Them by Uwem Aban. And my favorite, Shinwa Ashebe, Arrow of God. You should read this book. And you have Wings of the Night by Asoka Omoka. Um, of course he autographed this one for me. You have my very good friend Shika Unigwe on the on Black Sister Street. Shika Unigwe, my very good friend. Of course Shinwa Ashebe there was a country and reading for Amerigerians, Amerigerian Igbo by Professor Samuel C. O. B. of San Jose University. A Broken Mission by my very good friend John Ibokwe. This is about the um, Nigerian uh, embassy in the Philippines. Uh, this is almost like a, a real-life thriller. You have to read this book by John Ibukwe. Real-life experience he had in Philippines, fighting corruption and, uh, and incompetence by the Nigerian mission in the Philippines. Anatomy of Leadership, a conceptual approach, a conceptual analytical approach by Dr. Camillus Egeni. Anatomy of Leadership by Camillus Egeni. Omuka, Azoka Omuka, The 20 Success Secrets of Great Achievers by Azuka Omuka. Of course, Dick Tiger, The Life and Times of a Boxing Immortal by Adeinka Makinde, Dick Tiger. Oh yeah, remember he beat Hurricane Kata, moved from middleweight to light heavyweight and won both. Dick Tiger, you hear too? A Broken Axle about the exploits of this guy during the Biafran War. Obi Ignatius Ebe. He was one of the field commanders during the Biafran War. Eclipse at Nunde by Mike Uriel Oboishie, real life autobiography about the um, Nigerian Civil War. He wrote this, he, 
you, this book was released last year, but um, it was about his life as a teenager during the Biafran Civil War. Surviving Biafra by Alfred Obiorozohwe. It's also he, he he wrote this a few years ago, but it was about his life as a kid um, during the Biafran Civil War. Uh, like um, uh, uh, Alfred Uzokwe uh, is also from Newi, like myself, uh, and uh, like Azoka <laughs> Moka. Um, and uh, we all went to the same uh, secondary school, Okung Memorial Grammar School at Newi. So we are all Okung Grammites. Nigeria and Biafra, My Story by General Philip Effiong. His own story about the um, uh, Biafran War. To Save Nigeria, a Revolutionary Coup and the Civil War by Godi Onyefolo. You have to remember Godi Onyefolo. He was part of the coup, the first coup, and then he was um, a second lieutenant, and uh, he fought for Biafra. Um, yeah, this is another very interesting book by Godi Onyefolo. Oil, politics and violence, Nigeria's military coup culture by Max Siolo. You have to read this book if you really want to know how Nigerians' problem started, problems started and um, reading it will help you to identify the problem itself so that you can provide better solutions. General of the People's Army by Shuxi Lebunan. Shuxi Lebunan was a um, special advisor to Governor Obi on media. I think he mentioned my name somewhere in the book and he signed it for me. He mentioned somewhere that I helped in, in um, bringing this book, making it a success. Well, I don't know. Reflections on the Nigerian Civil War by Ambassador of Uweshia. You also have to read this book. This is a real life experience of people. Then you have Dr. S. Okechuku Mezu on Nigeria, Ojuku, Azikiwe, Biafra, Beyond the Rising Sun. This is a recent publication that I will recommend for you. Of course, you have Igbo Proverbs by Chukwu Maezoba, Igbo Proverbs. An old book that I read from time to time, Amamihe, uh, a revision course in, in Igbo by uh, Maezobi, Godiobi. A History of Furu Agunewi Under Ezogiri by Maze Godiobi. The Igbo and the Redos of Their Jewish Origin by Professor Obukago. Isu Factor in Newi History. Isu Factor in Newi History by Sienu Gochuku. Very interesting book. Every Igbo should read this before you start claiming anything. Aspects of African Anthropology A Case Study of the Cultural Patterns in Enugu Agede, Umuri Clan, Anambra State, Nigeria, by Chief Eric C. N. Okan. Very interesting book by Eric C. N. Okan. Of course, you have to hear your family root. Yeah, by Reverend Father S. U. Njoko, so that you make sure that you're on the you are building on the right foundation, the right foundation. Bible, the Holy Bible in Igbo. This is 
awesome. You have to know how to read the, uh, the holy book, God's word, in your own language. Then um, I also got this, which I refer to from time to time, Professor Christian Okeke, okay, okay. contemporary issues on public international and comparative law. I, Christian Wachuku, Professor Keke, okay, okay, uh, was my professor in University of Nigeria, and then he's a professor in Golden Gate University, San Francisco. This is an old book that I got um, two years ago, but it's very, very interesting. Nigerian political parties. It's an old, very old book by Richard Clark. You have to read this. And then I, I, we traveled to Nigeria um, last year, came back early this year, and uh, with my kids, with my family. So I bought Shike and the River for my son. He, he finished it in seven hours. Shike and the River. So that's how I spent some of my time. Um, when I'm not doing intellectual property law, when I'm not um, trying to coordinate a few things in Iboville, uh, uh, when I'm not spending time with my family, these are some of the books that I found time to read. Thank you.